The church is one body with many members, and we all have a role to play. Today we're talking about embracing your role in God's church on Cell Life Church TV. This is Cell Life Church TV. We invite you to join the conversation with pastors Brian and Kelly as they discuss an encouraging topic that is relevant to life today. Hello. Hi there. Welcome back to the Cell Life Church studio. We are glad to have you with us. Mm -hmm. Make sure to become part of our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel and connecting with us on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. By doing so, you'll stay updated on all the encouraging videos we create and our uplifting posts that guide you in being the church in your everyday life. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're continuing with our New Year's teachings of foundational truths and disciplines. Everyone wants to know what their purpose is and what role they're supposed to be fulfilling in any group that they belong to. Today, we are looking into the Bible and learning about the truth that every person in the church is a vital member of the whole body, each with a unique role to play and a job to do. Now, the Apostle Paul teaches about this topic in his first letter to the church in Corinth. Let's begin by reading 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body. So it is with Christ. Let's look at what we can learn from this passage of Scripture today and apply it to our lives. In this passage, Paul illustrates the church as the body of Christ. Just as our physical bodies have various parts with distinct functions, so does the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We each have a head, a heart, and other internal organs all necessary to live. Mm -hmm. Each of these organs inside our bodies work together in harmony to sustain our life. Yes. Each of these organs looks very different and they do very different things. Mm -hmm. Yet they are all necessary for us to be alive. Yes. All of the organs inside our body, as different as they may be, work together for us to live. Mm -hmm. A brain or a heart cannot exist and function outside of the body. <laughs> they each need the other along with other organs to live and thrive. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 14 through 18 says, Even so, the body is not made up of one part but of many. Not Now, if the foot should say, Because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason, stop being part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not, for that reason, stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. Amen. Speaking of the church, we must understand that each of us is one part mm -hmm. of the church. We each bring gifts, mm -hmm. talents, and abilities that are somewhat unique. Mm -hmm. We are diverse in our gifts, talents, and abilities, but we are united in our shared faith and commitments to the Lord. We are one church and one body when we function together using our unique gifts talents and abilities. Mm -hmm. God in his infinite wisdom has given each of us unique gifts and talents to serve the body of Christ and ultimately point people to Jesus. Amen. Just as an eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. <laughs> the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. Every member is indispensable. Yes. Whether your gift is teaching, serving, encouraging, or showing mercy, know that your role is mm -hmm. crucial for the well-being of the entire body. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is also essential to be humble and thankful for our roles in the church. Our gifts are not for bringing attention or glory to ourselves. The gifts and talents we have been given are to bring glory to God and to build up his church. Yes. 
Now, when you read how Jesus interacted with people in the Gospels, you see a humility unmatched in the world. He first humbled himself to be born into this world, then walked among us, teaching us, healing us, forgiving us, encouraging us, and refining us. Jesus had patience with each person he interacted with, even the religious leaders who ultimately plotted to have him killed. The Apostle Peter was bold in his faith, but humble knowing his role. He showed his humility when he was about to be executed many years later by the Romans by crucifixion. He begged them to crucify him upside down because he was not worthy to be crucified in the same manner as his Lord Jesus Christ. That's humble. Peter never forgot the lessons Jesus taught him, and he fulfilled all Jesus asked him to do with grace and humility. We must humbly acknowledge that every member, regardless of their role, is equally valued and necessary. The apostle is just as important as the evangelist, and the teacher is just as important as the servant. The person who brings the teaching is just as important as the person who shares the teaching with someone else later in the week. Mm -hmm. The member who greets others with a warm smile and a handshake or a hug is just as important as the member who is watching over the children. Just as the body needs all its parts working correctly and in harmony, the church needs all its members working correctly and in harmony with humility, knowing that all are needed. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39 says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. One of the things we learn from this passage is that there is no one more or less important in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We are all equally necessary and important in the church. Male or female, rich or poor, black or white, none of that matters. What matters is that we all embrace the role we have been given in God's church and carry out that role with the humility of Christ Jesus. Amen. As members of the body, we are called to encourage and support one another. Mm -hmm. Just as one part of the body may suffer, so do we share in the joys and sorrows of our fellow believers. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 12, 24 through 27 says, But God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Mm, Amen. Let us be quick to offer a helping hand, Mm -hmm. a word of encouragement, a fervent prayer for one another. Whatever your specific role in the churches, we all must love and support one another. Amen. Every one of us will go through difficult times and every one of us will falter. Mm -hmm. We must be quick to lend a helping hand, encourage and pray for others when this happens to them. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most important things that we all must do as one church. Mm -hmm. We must help one another. We have to celebrate during wonderful times and encourage and support one another during difficult times. Mm -hmm. When one member is sick, we may not have the gift of healing, but you may have the gift of hospitality and can bring them a meal. When one member finds themselves in trouble because of a mistake they made, you may not be able to correct the mistake, but you can encourage them and pray with them as they work through making amends for it. The Apostle John records Jesus giving a new command in John 13, 34 through 35, which says, A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if 
you love one another. We must love and support one another. By this, the world will know we belong to the world and want to know him too. Yes, yes. I think you meant to say we belong to the Lord. Yes, but, we belong to the Lord. <laughs> as you embrace your unique role within the body of Christ, do it with joy, dedication, and a heart full of love. Yes. The Lord has called us to be one church, each member contributing to the growth of the whole. We pray that you embrace your role in God's church with passion and purpose, yes. knowing that in doing so, you are actively participating in God's plan for his church. Mm. Amen? Amen. Thank you so much for being with us today. Yes. We're eager to hear your thoughts, mm -hmm. so don't hesitate to share them with <laughs> us. Share this video with your family and your friends, and let's inspire others together. Yes. Until next time, be encouraged in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. <laughs>